CIT, the Center for Indigenous Theater, is a three-year training institute for Indigenous students. The students start from the beginning in year one, and each year of training builds off of the first year, and then the second year, and then third year. We also offer fourth year training to graduates, and that fourth year training is often built from um, creative energy juices that build up over the last three years. Uh, new plays are being written, video dramas are being created. CIT means inspiration. I see a lot of people come through the program who are at first very shy, and as they go through the terms and years, they become more and more solidified in who they will be as an Indigenous artist. When people come here from small communities, reservations, towns, cities, um, they are engulfed into a different world. I strongly believe that Toronto is its own world. What a CIT has let me do is uh, be in a situation, a place where there's a lot of things I don't have to think about, so I can think about the things I want to think about. And hearing the stories and working with the other students, the other Indigenous students. I have like 26 years of formal education, and there was never another Indigenous person in with, in, with me in any of those times. We are incredible people. We really are. And we have been holding ourselves to the standard of mediocrity that is the colonizer for a very, very long time now and we don't have to anymore. CIT is a place where I can like, I feel like I can really express myself like artistically. Um, I often feel like it's like an escape of mine because I feel like I can't really create the ways I can at CIT anywhere else. So I feel like it's really helped me just like bring out my creative side and like my voice as an artist. Here, they're, they kind of just make you do it and they just make you get into it like you don't really have a choice. So I've just, gotten used to it and I've gotten to really play around with it. While being here at CIT, I've learned to, you know, not be so closed off and you really do have to put yourself out there. Um, the teachers will literally force it out of you if you want to be, you know, scared or not want to do a scene, they will work with you and um, I think that's, that's what I would say uh, most that I've learned is just coming out of your uh, comfort zone and It'll only help you in the end. Expand your knowledge, expand your talents, you know, then take that leap of faith and, you know, give it a shot. Who knows? No matter what theater school you're in, it's, it's such hard work. There's lots of exploration, lots of investigation. There's a lot of self-exploration. Please come and check us out. We have so much to offer. There's a lot of Indigenous programming uh, happening in, in Ontario that we are part of and we welcome you to come and take part in those things with us. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this work. Miigwech. Bonjour. Bidwa a gish go kwe dish nakaz megaze do dem. We are grateful to live and work and learn on this land and acknowledge the traditional caretakers of this land. The Huron-Wendat, the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Anishinaabe. Chimigwech caretakers, Chimigwech kakamekwe. Hello, welcome to Centre for Indigenous Theatre's program info session. My name is Jaylee. And I'm Nolan. We are current students at CIT. Miigwech for joining us. Today, we'll answer all your questions about our school and how you can join our classes. Have you thought about pursuing a career in the arts? Please share your stories in the comments below. We'll start with some of the history of CIT, we'll show you what the program and school year may look like, as well as how to apply and get into the program. During our short time today, you will also get a view, a clip from one of our showcases, as well as special guest interview, so stay tuned for those clips. Our program at CIT is a post-secondary program that provides training in acting, voice, and movement. We offer cultural classes that are focused on dance, song, and oral history. We partner with communities and organizations across Canada that we will share different experiences with throughout the year. Each year we plan land-based teachings with Dabaj Majik storytellers in Manitowaning and An Matoxi in Nipissing First Nation. Now, a teaser for our most recent showcase. Enjoy! You'll see.
Aw, Henry. Rosy, soft, beautiful. The smell of fresh washed hair. An angel, an untouchable treasure. Johnny's baby sister. He watched over her like a hawk, but she grew up so fast. One second she was a little girl and the next she had me wrapped around her little finger. She was only 16 and Johnny couldn't tell her no, but he sure as hell told me I had to treat her right. Johnny? It was so good when we first got together. Springtime. A warm, clear night. We climbed onto that big cement block. Behind the White Pass Depot. Down by the river. Watching big chunks of ice float past us. We made up that game about where the ice was going. Wondering. wondering if they'd make it to Alaska. Or get stuck against each other. Trapped. Trapped. The current rushing past them. Helpless. Helpless. Cutting into each other. Getting real mad. <laughs> and you made up that song. <laughs> Ode to the Lonesome Iceberg. You sang it at the top of your lungs, your arms stretched to the stars. Ode to the Lonesome Iceberg. <laughs> That's when I fell in love with you. Here's the outline of our current school year. Classes are typically start September, but we begin with an orientation period of CIT in Toronto. Students are then enrolled into full-time training with a winter and spring break in between studies. That may leave you wondering what your class's schedule might look like during a school year. Here's an example. Classes are typically in person, but may be online in some cases. You have a variety of classes at CIT throughout the year, such as dance, voice, physical theater, singing, and story creation. You'll be on your feet and expected to be actively participating in all classes, Although accommodations can always be made, you can address any access concerns or needs to your educators or staff. It's now time for an exclusive CIT interview. Hello, Ani. My name is Lisa Kermarty. I'm from Waquamakong and Big Trout Lake, and I currently live in Northern Ontario. Uh, since graduating CIT, I've worked as an actor both in theater and film and television. Um, some bigger things that I was a part of uh, were the Unnatural and Accidental Woman at the National Arts Centre, um, as well as I also got to work in my home community of Waquamakong with the Debaj Majig Theatre Company, and we did a play there called An Honor Story, which was the first thing I did out of um, CIT, and it was so much fun. Uh, okay, since I've been back to CIT, I am so jealous of the space that the students have now. Like the artscape, um, the studios there are just gorgeous and like open, big, wide. Like I was, I was so envious of this. I was like, wow, these kids are so lucky. Uh, kids, I always say kids, students are so lucky. Um, so yes, and it's like in, right beside uh, Trinity Bellwoods, which is awesome. We, when I was going, we were like on King Street, right in the entertainment district. And like, oh, we had kind of like office space that was our studio. So um, I'm so happy to see both like the administration, administration as well as this, as well as the studio together. And um, plus now I feel like CIT has a lot more partnerships with like organizations and things. So like, um, I know like uh, Canada's National Voice Intensive uses like CIT space. So that having that opportunity to take that program while in Toronto, I took that program after I graduated. I had to fundraise to go to um, Vancouver, British Columbia to take that program. And now it was just like at CIT. So that was really amazing. It just seems like it's evolving, it's growing and it's networking, even doing these things, it's like networking so much more. And um, the instructors seem like really, really awesome as well. I mean, they were really awesome when I went to school too. So it's good to see that they're continuing with that as well. 
Inspired to apply yet? Let us know in the comments below. Requirements needed to apply to the Center for Indigenous Theatre are you must identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit. You must be 18 years of age or older. You need a grade 10 English level or higher. Have an interest in acting, movement, voice, self-discovery, and theatre, as well as an interest in exploring Indigenous culture and knowledge. Now that we've gone the requirements, here are important documents that you submit when applying to a Center for Indigenous Theatre. They include... An updated resume, a 500-word essay expressing your interest in theatre and coming to CIT, two references that can vouch for your interest in theatre, a photocopy of your health card, and an audition video of you doing some script work. To help you out with your audition, we've created a how-to video. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sam Twin. I'm a fourth year student here at Center for Indigenous Theatre. Hi, I'm Teresa Cutknife and I'm also a fourth year student at the Center for Indigenous Theatre. Uh, we'll give you some tips and tricks on uh, how to do your monologues and get them sent into CIT. Yes, so first find an age appropriate monologue for yourself. Uh, use something from the Indigenous canon, uh, something like from Thompson Highway, Drew Hayden Taylor, uh, Kenneth T. Williams, do you have any more? Keith Barker, Alanis King, and if you have any troubles finding anything like that, you could email CIT and we'll provide you with a monologue. So Sam, what did you do for your um, audition into CIT? I did uh, Ivic from Thunderstick by uh, Kenneth Williams. What about you? What did you do? I was sent a collection of different uh, story pieces from Coyote City. What to wear, uh, wear something simple, neutral colors, something that you're comfortable and confident in. Yep, and you know, it does, there's not really a time limit for it, but uh, it should be around three minutes. If you have any other skills that you wanna show, like singing, dancing, hand drumming, anything and everything, feel free to submit it, but you do have to have a monologue. Unless, of course, you're a storyteller and you have a story. Uh, then you could submit that instead of the monologue, but no accents, please. And the most important thing is to have fun. And if you stumble, that's okay. Yep. You can do it over and over as many times as you feel. Have any other difficulties like doing your, your monologue or audition? Uh, probably the hardest part was memorizing it all. And uh, I had somebody film it for me. I did not know that it was best to film it with a neutral background, so I filmed it just in a living room and there was a lot of uh, things in the background, but it worked out. And you don't need a professional camera. Uh, we're doing this on an iPhone 10. You can stack it up on some books or put it on a table, whatever you gotta do. As long as it's capturing basically from half of your torso up so we can see your shoulders and your head. You could have a, a relative or somebody hold the camera for you and you could just send that into CIT. Have fun. There are ongoing requirements in order to remain in the program. Curious on what it takes to be a CIT graduate? You are expected to be on time and present for all classes, and you must actively be looking for funding while you attend your studies. Tuition costs each year are $3,750. Before you go, we would like to mention that there are alternative funding options if you are unable to receive financial support from your band. There are other organizations that you could submit applications to for funding. These include, but are not limited to, the Inspire Foundation, Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation, Métis Nation of Ontario, Canada Post, Mississaugas of the Credit, and other local organizations. If you're in need of funding application assistance, contact us at Centre for Indigenous Theatre. We are accepting applications for our full-time program as well as summer intensive now. Reminder, no students have ever been turned away due to lack of funding. Please make sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook to stay updated on CIT news and updates. Also check out our website at indigenoustheater.com. We also would like to thank our funders. With our generous support, we were able to provide a school for our students. The Department of Canadian Heritage, the Ontario Arts Council, the Toronto Arts Council, Ms. Wee Beak Aboriginal Employment and Training, Hastings Park Foundation of Rights and Freedom, McLean Smith's Family Foundation, Ontario Arts Foundation. Thank you for attending CIT's program info session. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we will get back to you. See, See you soon. soon.